When I got the question, what do I do? I like to tell people I work in fans, and of course that opens their mind up to whatever it is they think a fan is. Now a lot of us have an idea that a fan is a fan. It's something that we sit on the ground, we turn it on, we blow air, it cools us down. And so a lot of people think that I sell those kind of fans. But I want to answer the question, what does a centrifugal fan do? Simply, it moves gas. A centrifugal fan moves gas. But every fan moves gas, so why a centrifugal fan? Well, talked about it in some other videos, but a centrifugal fan, again, looks like this, and it takes air into the inlet and blows air out the outlet. So why would you need one? I mean, what is the reason for a centrifugal fan? What does it do? Well, I'm standing in a room right now, and I just want you to go through an exercise with me. Take whatever dimensions in the room you're in. Just meant, stick with me here. Let's say you're in a room that is 10 feet wide, and you're in a room that is 20 feet long and 10 feet high. Let's do some quick math on that. We got 10 feet wide by 20 feet long. So our area on the floor is 200 feet squared. Now we take 10 feet high and we multiply that by our 200 feet squared. And we have 2,000 cubic feet in the room in which we are standing. So put yourself through an exercise and say, what if I was in this room and there was no way for the air to ever change? All right, something every single person is doing that is watching this video is breathing. I am right now as well. We don't think about it too much, but we're all breathing. As we breathe, we're exhaling, and what we exhale, we don't really want to breathe again. So if I was in a room that had no way to change the air of 2,000 cubic feet, at some point, I would die due to lack of oxygen. So, at its core, a centrifugal fan can help you not die. That's really cool. But why would you need a centrifugal fan? I mean, we're all in rooms all the time. We got doors we can open and stuff like that. But let's say the room that I'm in right now is 100 feet underground. Now I got a different situation. Now you don't maybe want to put your centrifugal fan 100 feet underground. You want to put it up above room. So let's say this guy is above ground. And we got ground right here. And the room that you're in is down here. And this room has 2,000 cubic feet. That's how much air makes up this little room. Well, we gotta find a way to get from this room to the fan that is ventilating that room. And we need air that can get to the room. So let's say we've got this pipe up here that we're running out of the ground, just a random pipe you encounter in a field. All right, that pipe comes down, comes in to the room and feeds the room. Well, if you've only got one in, it's not gonna do you very much. It's not actually going to exchange the air in that room. You need an outflow from the room as well. well let's say to get out, you gotta go way down here up here, way back here, up here, over, and down to the fan inlet. So here's our duct. Coming off the room. This is where a centrifugal fan is really handy. Because what it does, it generates higher pressures than an axial fan can. An axial fan, if you go back and watch some other videos we've done, moves air in the same direction. It's like the window fan that you've got in your house. But a centrifugal fan is rotating and it's moving a maybe high volume of air. The volume can be variable, but it's moving a higher static pressure than an axial fan. That's good when you got a long run of duct or pipe or whatever going from where you need the air to where the fan is. And so in this case, let's say through all this duct work, you've got 200 feet of resistance or something like that, a duct run with all these turns. That's what we calculate as static pressure. So when you're looking at a centrifugal fan and you're saying, I need this much volume and this much static pressure, this is practically what it means. You got a room down here that needs 2,000 cubic feet. You got a run of all this duct work 
that requires pressure driving from the fan to get everything through all that. And now you're going to be able to ventilate this room. So then your calculation of, well, what do I need for my volume for my centrifugal fan? In this case, let's say you need to change the air rate in this room once every two minutes. It's 2,000 cubic feet, so you would need 1,000 CFM. So in two minutes, you'd move 2,000 cubic feet. And whatever the calculation of static pressure is of this entire run of duct all the way to the fan, say for the sake of this video, it's 20 inches of water column, you would need 1,000 cubic feet per minute at 20 inches of water column in order for this centrifugal fan to let you live way under the surface in this room. And that's a real basic conceptual drawing of what a centrifugal fan does.